Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is macro section. You can see this uh, TWI CC 3.1 exam. There is one uh, section is there macro section. They will give the specimen to you and you will find out the defect and after the defect found you have to put uh, all the defects in the, in the paper and the defect site. So I will explain today this uh, macro section what they are given, what type of sample they are given to you. So this is uh, welding inspection macro section practical. This is very important and uh, as for my understanding there will be 10 or 12 types of defect are there. If you know that type of defect definitely you can uh, pass this macro section. So it's very important. First is assess the macro photograph for well defects. Macro photograph photographs it is given in the this uh, video. So you have to assess that macro photograph well defects. Record the major defects on the report sheet. Major defects if it is in the acceptance criteria not in the defect not is a defect. If it is beyond the acceptance criteria that is that then this is the defect you have to put in the report sheet. Third is sentence the defect recorded to the acceptance criteria given. So what the defects are there and in the what acceptance criteria is given. In that acceptance criteria if it is undercut is allowance uh, it is 1 mm. So if it is 1.5 so we have to mention it is 1.5 mm. Follow the instruction which do not mark in the photograph. This is the instruction you have to follow. You cannot mark in the photograph. See this is your example work instruction for macro. They will give this one and uh, one specimen they will give you. And after that, you have to find out the defect, lamination or lack of fuse on whatever are there, what size are there, you can see here what size, whether it is accept or reject, you have to mention. Uh, put here signature and name is there. So this will be the one specimen paper they will give to you and uh, you have to find out the defect from the specimen and you have to put here. First, let's discuss about the first type, first one defect. Let's see. You have to understand this is angular distortion 3 mm in 50 mm. So, this is the 50 mm from here to here. This is the 50 mm. Sorry, sorry, the 50 mm from the middle of the oil to one side. You see the left hand side end. So, this is 50 mm. In this 50 mm, the angular distortion is, is clearly mentioned 3 mm. So, angular distortion is 3 mm in 50 mm. Is it acceptable? You have to check in the acceptance criteria. If it is acceptable, they have to put in accept. Otherwise, we have to, work, we have to put in reject. So, this is the one type of defect is there, macro defect 50 mm in the. So, this type of they will give you macro section. You have to check this defect also if, you, if they given this specimen. Must you have to check. See, you have to check also this type of defect is there or not. You see this, these two defects are there. One is incompletely fillet group. There is proof uh, that is incomplete. The fillet group is not completed. So this is incomplete fillet group. Fillet group. And another is the misalignment. You can see the misalignment. This is the plate is misalignment. They did not check the fit up properly before they welded. So this is misalignment. How much is 1.5? So you have to check in acceptance criteria whether it is accept or reject. So I I want to explain this one. You don't forget this measurement in your specimen. So this this is the defect. This is misalignment with the defect, incomplete field group with the defect. Now you can see here how many defects are there. Excessive weld metal. Weld metal is more than the acceptance criteria. You can see the excessive weld metal. 
This is one type of defect. You can see old lab and poor toe blade. Old lab means there is not fusion. The lapping is there, and toe blade is not properly. It is not blended. So this is poor toe blade. If it is poor lab, definitely it will be poor toe blade. So this is one type of defect. Same here in the left hand side. In the left hand side and the right hand side, the same defect. The poor lab and the poor toe blade. And the this is the reinforcement. This is the excessive old metal is there. It's excessive reinforcement. It is you can see here this type of defect in the specimen gas pore or blow hole. That is porosity. That is gas pore. You can you can see you can tell uh, that is gas pore blow hole. This is one type of defect. So you understand that how many defects you can see in the specimen. This is incompletely filled groove. Also, this type of defect you can see in the specimen. You see here, this is incomplete. This should be here. This is the specimen. If it is like that, this is filled groove. But it is, uh, it is not the same level. The uh, welding level is less than the base metal level. So you can see here. So this is incompletely filled groove. You can see here lack of sidewall fusion in incompletely filled groove. So lack of sidewall fusion. You can why it is mentioned sidewall? This is the parent metal is there. So this, this is one wall. So this is lack of sidewall fusion. Fusion is not there. Also incompletely filled groove. This is not deposited metal properly. So this is lack of sidewall fusion. You can see or incompletely filled groove. You can see also lack of sidewall fusion also here. Here also you can see here. This is also lack of sidewall fusion. This is not fused properly when the electrode is melting. Electrode is uh, welding here. The electrode is not melted. The joint base metal and the old metal properly. So this is lack of sidewall fusion. Also you can see here the slag is there. There is a slag in so definitely this is beyond the accepted criteria and it is rejected. Definitely the slag is it is uh, lack of sidewall fusion and the slag is there so it is rejected. But you have always check the acceptance criteria what they will give to you and in that you have to measure that acceptance criteria it is really accepted, uh, accepted or rejected. You can see here this type of defects you can see in the specimen cold depth. You see here the cold lab, this one. This is the groove. Lack of sidewall fusion. Again, the same thing is there. Incompletely filled groove. Sidewall fusion is not there. Gas ports. You see, gas porosity. You can see the gas port. The porosity is there. Lack of root fusion. You see the welding root. It is not fused properly. So, this is called lack of root fusion. So you have to check this one also in the specimen and you have to measure the defect and it is. Mention in the your report sheet. Also, you can see this type of specimen. If you find out, this is also incompletely filled group. This is not completely filled by the old metal. This is you can see some inclusion is there, slag is there. So they all they are not chipped properly in the each layer of the old metal. Gas porous, gas pores. You see gas pores here, lack of root fusion, same lack of root fusion, you can see here lack of root fusion. Same here, lack of sidewall fusion, lack of, uh, you can see the slag is there, the so lack of sidewall fusion plus slag. And this is very important, lack of root penetration, penetration is not there. This is your base metal, but electrode, when uh, the welder is uh, joined that welding, joined this part, so he, he cannot, he could not mail this uh, root face and the old metal. So this is uh, electrode. So this is, they cannot hold, uh, they, they did not uh, holding properly. So this is called a lack of root penetration. Penetration has not been done. So same thing happened. You see lack of root penetration is not done, although lack of sidewall fusion. Sidewall fusion is not done. So this, these two areas called the lack of sidewall fusion and this area is the lack of root penetration. So you have to remember this is lack of sidewall fusion. This is 
lack of sidewall fusion plus lag, this is lack of sidewall fusion and this is lack of road penetration. So this is the defect you can find out in your specimen. So and you can see, this is your acceptance criteria. They will give to you like cracks not permitted, porosity 1 mm, floor solid inclusion 1 mm, copper inclusion not permitted, overlap not permitted, undercut. So, if you see anywhere overlap not permitted, so it is rejected. Definitely it will be rejected. Undercut, undercut you can see 0.5 mm deep. So, only 0.5 mm deep acceptable. If it is you see in the undercut 1, 1 mm, so it is rejected. So, you have to check this macro section the maximum allowance. If it is beyond that, then you have to find out that particular defect and you have to, uh, you can see that on the first page, you have to mention, you have to mention here, lack of lamination, like 10 mm, accept or reject, accept, lack of cycle fusion, 4 mm is a reject, so you have to mention here, accept or reject. But you have to find out the defect. That defect, maybe it is accept or reject will be there. But you have to find out the defects. Defects may be acceptable, may be rejectable. Okay, so defect you have to find out first. To understand all these defects, most probably these defects will be you will become in the, your exam. Uh, almost it is covered all types of defect, major defect. So this is your uh, acceptance level you can find out and they will give to you. So thanks uh, for watching the video. I will again I will upload uh, after that uh, radiograph uh, that uh, everybody joined how it is radiograph looks like. So I think this video you have uh, understand all this uh, acceptance level and all defects how it is macro it looks like. Thanks. Please like, share and subscribe my channel to get the regular videos.